Hello everybody, my name is Hisham, Hisham Jabari, and today I'm 38 years old. I'm here in India at Fortis Hospital, and uh, I'm gonna tell you my story. Uh, it started on the 8th of August, a month ago only. I have been diagnosed by renal cancer. I never knew it existed before. Renal kidney cancer. It started in Oman, where I work. I'm actually from Algeria, so I came only for a mission in Oman for one year. And somehow, God decided to make it bigger than that. All right, so Dr. Himant, he's from Fortis Hospital, actually. And he works also in uh, Royal Hospital in Masqat, in Oman. Um, I went to him about something very, very little, very not that important. And then he started digging and asking questions and requesting for a series of diagnoses, a series of uh, going, uh, doing echography, doing scans. And then he found out that it's a cancer. It's called RCC, renal serum cancer, something like that that I've never knew of. He said that we can do this manually in Oman and he will ask the team from Fortis Hospital if they can be available, if they can be available in Oman. They said there is something new, the latest technology. Uh, it's like a robot that it does the whole thing. And it's of course manipulated by the doctor himself, who is Dr. Mohan Kishav Morty. Only 10 days after the diagnosis, I met the doctor himself. Dr. Mohan came to, to Masqat. We met and he was explaining about the robot. He made it so easy. We approved and we decided to come to India and we started all the procedure of the visas and the bookings and stuff. We met doctor. Next day, everything started. They took me to the ICU. I just fell asleep and they woke up with no pain. I found out it's like four centimeters in your left kidney and uh, has been removed by this robot manipulated by Dr. Mohan. Dr. Mohan Kashavamorti, he's uh, not, he's beyond being a doctor. He's beyond being a human. That's it. Thank you. My name is Dr. Mohan Kashavamorti, director of uh, urology, urology and robotic surgery at Fortis Hospital's Banagata Road. We had an interesting uh, patient from Oman, uh, originally of Algerian descent. Uh, this gentleman had a, a lower polar kidney mass, incidentally discovered during a master health check. And uh, the provisional diagnosis was cancer of the kidney. Considering the fact that he had an extensive family history of diabetes, he was very worried about nephrectomy, which was offered in Oman to him uh, in an open surgical fashion. We offered for him to travel to India in, um, in my routine OPD in Oman, which I do once a month, and suggested that robot-enabled surgery, nephron-sparing surgery would be the ideal way forward to preserve as much of uh, functioning kidney as possible. We were able to do a robot-enabled partial nephrectomy with vascular control and frozen section. The histopathology came back as a low-grade cancer of the kidney. The patient was in hospital for two days and could travel back to his home country within a week after surgery. The ability of the Da Vinci XI platform to provide wonderful magnification, filtering tremors of a senior surgeon like me, as well as compartmental surgical precision and the, and the additional accessories of a drop-down ultrasound probe, uh, the best in the world is from BK, which, which we are fortunate to possess at Fortis Banagata Road, as well as the uh, uh, histopathological facility for frozen section with skilled pathologists backing us up in the form of Dr. Imran, uh, who is a nationally renowned onco, uh, euro-oncopathologist, helped us to uh, preserve as much nephron mass as possible. The procedure took about an hour and a half, was bloodless. Uh, patient recovered uh, wonderfully well, uh, was mobilized same day, had his uh, dinner the same day and could be discharged uh, within 36 hours back to the hotel room. 
uh, one of the most important determin determinants of managing uh, cancer kidney in a young patient would be preserving renal mass, especially if there is a possibility of background diabetes. The quality of life of the patient is dependent on the GFR in the post-operative fashion, that is the ability of the kidney to clear waste products on a regular basis. Better the creatinine, better the GFR, better the quality of life in the long-term perspective of patients who are unfortunate to suffer with a diagnosis of kidney cancer at a young age. Uh, this is yet another example of how uh, Fortis Banergata Road has utilized the world-class uh, Da Vinci XI robotic platform to enhance outcomes of international patients who trust and travel great distances to, great distances to, to, to uh, get their problems solved. Thank you. Hello, I am Dr. Karthik Rao, Consultant Urology, Uron and Robotic Surgery at Fortis Hospital, Banergata Road, Bangalore. Uh, I'll be speaking about what are the technical advancements what we have achieved in achieving a niche procedure called as robotic partial nephrectomy. Technology in the right hands with the right uh, persons behind it can do wonders for the recovery and the management of the patient. In this case, we were able to send this patient uh, back away from the hospital in two days time. Now, to tell you more, what previously we used to do what is called as an open partial nephrectomy or a lap partial nephrectomy and now we have evolved into what is called as a robotic partial nephrectomy. In an open partial nephrectomy, it involves a big incision, cutting of the ribs, involving more post-operative stay in the hospital, more pain for the patient and invariably more of blood loss. In a lap, lap partial, some people argue that the pain factor and the recovery of the patient is similar to that of the robo. But then it's imagining we have what is called as a needle stick effect. That means you, it's virtually like eating rice with, um, with uh, <coughs> chopsticks rather than eating with your hands. Now, with the robo is that the boom can be or the robo can be placed in any position of the patient and the boom rotates. The patient is in the lateral position and we place only four ports, four robotic ports and one assistant port. The robotic ports are placed in a straight line and with just an 8 mm uh, incision, which is, which is what the, uh, the diameter of the port is. Once we are inside, the advantages of the XI robot is it gives us up to a 10 degree magnification. That means even small blood vessels which we wouldn't be able to see with our naked eye becomes prominent on the robot. Precise application of the bulldog clamps helps us in localizing the vascularity to the tumor as well as something called as a niche technology called as ICG where we can inject a dye <coughs> into the, uh, the patient to see exactly the vascularity what is going into the tumor. A very important part of this partial nephrectomy is the intraoperative drop-down probe. The robotic system has something called as a tile probe, where the surgeon and the patient and the and the assistants around him can see real-time ultrasound images when we are operating on the patient. So we first put the intraop drop-down probe, mark the tumor on the kidney with adequate margins, and then go ahead after after temporarily clamping the blood supply to the kidney. Once the specimen is removed the freedom of movement of inside the patient with the robo helps us to suture in a precise fashion as, a, as if we are operating as an open uh, suturing as if we are operating with open hands with obviously less tremor better magnification and we are able to precisely take each bite achieving adequate hemostasis and preventing blood loss to the patient. In this patient we haven't transfused uh, uh, blood at all in the intraop or the post-op period and uh, once the second post-operative day, his drain and his catheters were out and this and the patient um, uh, was discharged on the second post-operative day which is um, remarkable considering the, the tension and the, the pathology what the patient presented to us with. Thank you.